Robin couldn't make it through one season before she came in and started throwing her weight around, making demands of this new family she was joining. Sorry, new girl, but nobody hit your buzzer. If Robin ever needs to wonder why she's such a polarizing figure in the Sister Wives community, she need not look further than season one, episode six, titled A Fourth Wife to Be. This is the episode where Cody reveals he picks out Robin's wedding dress and in the beginning of the episode, the wives discuss if Robin should be entitled to a spot in the rotation if she's just a measly old fiance. She has not yet attained wife status at this point. I, of course, have some thoughts on this debate. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be voice over commentary, but you will see my face a couple of times in this video, like here when we hear from today's video sponsor. You guys, I am so excited to be partnering yet again with Earth Breeze. Who isn't looking to simplify their lives where they can? I know I am. And one of the household chores that I have found to be incredibly simple now is laundry, thanks to Earth Breeze. I love to find eco-friendly products that perform just as good, if not better, than what you can find in the store. I have a four-year-old, she's almost five, and an almost one-year-old. Earth Breeze fights everyday stains and odors, giving you an amazing clean every time. And for those of us with young kids, Earth Breeze got rid of unnecessary chemicals for a formula that is kind to sensitive skin of all ages, including babies. Unlike liquid, powder, or capsule detergent, Earth Breeze looks like a dryer sheet, but it's ultra concentrated laundry detergent. It couldn't be easier. Just throw a sheet in with your laundry and watch it dissolve in any wash cycle, hot or cold. The eco sheets come packaged in a slim cardboard envelope that saves a ton of space. Switching to Earth Breeze won't only make laundry day easier for you, but also it will be easier on the planet. And if Earth Breeze doesn't end up being the 2024 update of your dreams, you don't even have to return it. Just let them know it's not for you and you will get a full refund. Go to earthbreeze.com slash squad to get started with 40% off Earth Breeze Eco Sheets. Thank you, Earth Breeze, for partnering with me again and for sponsoring this video. So James, Amanda, and I reunited last night to recap this episode, and I'll link that down in the description if you want to check out our recap more in depth. In season 18, Robin makes bold claims of never being accepted by Cody's original wives and kids, and that eventually she just gave up trying. She makes it seem like she put in all this effort to blend her existing family with Cody's existing family to only be brutally rebuffed. Poor victim Robin. It's a tale as old as time. But if you've gone and rewatched episodes, I know a lot of us have, the empirical evidence just doesn't match Robin's new spin on the destruction of the family. As a matter of fact, watching the earliest seasons, it appears to me like Robin got really comfortable really quick and had no problem rationalizing taking from the other wives and kids whether it be in family resources or Cody's time, there was always a reason why Robin deserved special treatment. Check out this debate that ensues when discussing whether or not fiance Robin should be cut into Cody's nightly rotation schedule. Cody and I have been engaged for a while now and it's been a long courtship and a really long engagement. There's been a little bit of tension about um, Cody's time and if I should get uh, equal amounts or if I shouldn't because I'm not married to him yet. I don't think a fiance has the same privilege as a wife. That's not fair to me. I disagreed with that uh, because of the fact that the, the court had to go for so long. Everybody's life is being yeah. in, put up in an upheaval with this. Robin argues that she just uprooted her kids and moved them hours away. Plus, she's had to deal with a really long engagement, so that's another reason why exceptions should be made for her. Well, Amanda James and I discussed this in our live last night, and I shared some of my thoughts. PK, you know, I was raised uh, going to church every Sunday, like definitely premarital was a no, no. Oh so, yeah. Even with Janelle being raised LDS, like fiance doesn't mean spouse, you know, like right. there is a difference. And 
So I was surprised that she was so relaxed about that. But um, cr with Christine and Mary, especially coming from the AUB, but it surprised me that Robin was trying to assert that status when she knows what the deal is. In response to that, Robin says in the episode uh, that time was absolutely needed for the kids for him to build a relationship with my kids, uh, AKA I'm trying to train my kids who their new daddy is. So I need to get some right. reps in with that, the person who their new daddy is supposed to be. I, and I don't disagree with Robin there. <laughs> uh, like the time was necessary, but the thing with polygamy and the thing with the Brown family is what is beneficial to one household comes at the expense of another. So what mm. Robin is getting, she is taking away from someone else. And that's the problem because it's like, no, Robin, nobody wants your kids to be strangers in this family. Nobody wants um, Cody to not build a relationship with your children. But why does that mean that if Cody is a stepdad to your kids, that means he's, that means they don't have a relationship with their biological father and now these his biological kids see him way less than they were before if you guys remember in season six robin will go on to tell the world that she felt like her purity was stolen when she got premaritally pregnant yet here she is in season one telling us she wants to invite the devil into her bedroom yet again and blur the lines between wife and fiance the way robin grew up the way a lot of us grew up, there is a difference between fiance and wife. And that is what Mary and Christine were trying to get across. Yet here Robin paints it as she has made all these sacrifices and she's being othered unfairly. And look, as someone who was pregnant on their wedding day, I don't actually think Robin would be doing anything wrong by entering the rotation early, but that is not proper protocol according to their religion. And that brings me to the second point I made during that clip from our live. In the Brown family, the way they have structured their family and the way they put polygamy into practice, whenever someone, quote, gets something in the family, it comes at the expense of someone else. Nothing that Robin was arguing for was inherently wrong. Her kids should have the opportunity to bond with their new stepdad-to-be. However, in order for them to get that time, it took away from Cody's time in other households. And there is a problem with Robin not seeing a problem with that. There is a problem with Robin not seeing a problem with cutting her kids off from their biological father in order for them to have a relationship with their new stepdad to be. Robin seems to be forever stuck in this entitlement mentality that the quote rules don't apply to her and that she can somehow circumvent even her religion's propriety because she's Robin. She got pregnant out of wedlock and she was able to spin that into her purity being stolen, which is fucked up on so many levels. And now she's arguing that the rules of their religion shouldn't apply to her because yet again, she is above the rules. What do you guys think of Robin's argument here? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. As always, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and X at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.